she helps us with all this management. And we are not very good at Babu is not good at this. I know, I know. <laughs> no, my, my, I went home for 10 days in California. <laughs> oh, awesome. It's guitar. I don't have uh, all my works here. This, that is a problem. I think I told you. And we work with. Uh, this is what you're working on. So he doesn't want to share that with our recent. Hmm? Our recent. It was I think uh, last year or two two years. Oh, very recent. Uh, they're still developing this uh, wow. uh, paint because it's so expensive. Still, it's like it's going to be for many materials or whatever. Uh, there's some artists I know like they never like I know one like friend. So, uh -huh. head of Ali Albert comes up, it's over there. Right. So, I made uh, from pictures because uh, you, we you, had some. You didn't have Ali Akbar Khan come no. and model for you. No. <laughs> but he saw this work and he was so uh, delighted to see him. Oh, that's nice. I sent to Brad, I was like, you guys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. <laughs> that's how I got to know Brad. <laughs> Because his uh, poems are also a yes. bit like, uh, yeah, like a face of carrying yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what did, what did you learn directly from your father, and what did you do that was like different than your father? Mm. If you can explain. But, but my, I mean, in the beginning, I was so much influenced by my father. How um, can you not be? Yeah, because uh, you know, I grew up seeing his work, and but uh, of course my ideas always, always my father said like you had you have amazing ideas, so you must uh, work on that. And uh, yeah, I did, I did. And after that, uh, after that, this whole I mean. Uh, because he was from a different generation, so mm -hmm. his, I mean, the visual art evolved very fast. I mean, from modernism to postmodernism, yeah. and, yeah. and automatically, I think uh, during my study period, I got, I came across many like contemporary artists, mm -hmm. like, um, uh, yeah. Then I visited many countries. I saw their art, contemporary art in Europe. And that inspired me also, I think, so much. And, but so, my style changed from, I mean, when I joined the art school, mm -hmm. it automatically changed because I was not really like uh, following one particular artist. And there is a, a British law, there is also a French law. Two laws are different. So sculptors can make like up to nine editions as per British law. Then you can get a good price, like nine editions, including the you know, piece you keep, if you want to keep mm -hmm. it. So then you can have a good price, you can sell your um, sculptures at a good price. Mm -hmm. And if you, but some artists they make more than nine, but you have to mention from the beginning yeah. that one out of nine, two out of nine. So this piece is extremely heavy. You can't you can't imagine. Like yeah. it looks like oh this is nothing, but it's hollow. Oh, but, okay. but it's like thick enough. This this thick. Wow. So probably you can imagine. Try to hold it. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah.